best options trading strategies for beginners. Best options trading strategies for beginners. So let's get going. Let's review what I believe to be the best options trading strategies when you are a beginner. So sometimes you have two alternatives when you look at options trading strategies or options trading. You have directional trades. Okay, so directionals. So what do you have in directionals? You have puts, you have calls, right? You have debit spread, right? Uh, directional trading also is you can buy your stock. You know, it goes up, it goes down. You have a 50-50% chance of success at best, okay? And there's another way, which is the professional way, and I'm going to show you why, which is selling income. And it's a great option, trading strategies when you want to understand options trading, selling income has a higher rate of consistency and probability of success when you sell income. So that would be credit spread, right? Ion condors. So ion condors for people who don't know is two credit spread. One at the top towards the resistance and above and one towards the bottom of your range. Uh, put credit spread towards the bottom and below your range. That's an iron condor, iron condor butterfly, you know, etc. etc. I see iron condor butterfly. If you have portfolio margin, you could sell puts, it's very powerful strategies. Uh, you could sell calls. Selling calls is not my cup of tea because you have unlimited losses. But there's a lot of strategies where you want to sell income. Now, let me show you here why you want to sell income. And I think it's going to at a very basic level for beginners in intermediate and even people who are intermediate or advanced in options trading to help you understand why selling income is one of the best, if not the best options trading strategies that a beginner could do. So let's say on Monday you buy your weekly option and our weekly option is a buck. The weekly option is going to be comprised in three levels, everybody. Real value above the strike price, the time value to the expiration, and the implied volatility in the options. So a lot of people don't know. They just buy and sell put calls, and then they wonder why 90% of the time their options expire worthless and what happened. If I buy an option of one dollar, and let's say that the real value is only 20 cents, that the time value is 60 cents, and that the implied volatility is another 20 cents. And I buy this weekly option on Monday. So it's Monday, right? And now I look at my options on Friday, because it's going to expire on Friday. And let's say everything remains equal. The real value is still at 20 cents. But here's the problem. Term value by expiration, we know one thing. It's going to be worth nothing, zero. Your employee volatility, let's say it starts, stays at 20 cents. Look what happened. The one that I said that you bought on Monday, price remain equal, implied volatility remain equal. But the time value, we know for a fact, time value goes to zero at expiration. And by Friday, that asset is only worth 60 cents. Is that a cool deal? Is that a good investment? If someone tells you you are going to buy an asset at $1 on Monday and it's worth on Friday 60 cents, this is not cool. You just lost 40% of your investment if you are the buyer of the options. Therefore, the inverse is true. Who made the money? The money was made by the seller of this option, okay? And this seller of the option 
knew for certainty the provision of the institutions and the astute trader know for certainty that this time value is worth nothing by the end of the week. This is why the most consistent high probability trading method in the market is to sell options. Now there is a great thing also in options trading is that you can buy sell sorry the options above the current price or below the current price and create three sources of income. See here's what's happening here for the seller of the options. He made money by selling the options because time value went in his favor from 60 cents to zero so he was able to sell then he can cover at zero. This the real value might be against him or sideways but there's another element that can be also in the favor of a seller of options, implied volatility. If you buy a high implied volatility, it, it is earning like Amazon tonight, and it crushes to zero tomorrow, you get another uh, 20 cents, which means now your asset is worth only 40 cents. So the seller of options just made another 60% on its investment. The investment went down 60% for the seller, for the buyer, sorry, and up 60% for the seller. This is super, super important. Why? Granted, I do buy and sell stocks. I do them for day trading, in and out for the day. I don't carry stocks overnight. What I do carry overnight is selling option, positive theta. You know, like overnight before the market close, I like to be neutral, you know, and positive theta. So yes, the higher risk, the higher reward when you go directional, like today on Amazon, I made about $5,000 with a combination of stocks and credit spread, right? But 90% of the day trader lose money. So let's go at the statistics. 90% of the day trader lose money. And the market only is directional 10% of the year. This is why the, market, the trader lose money. And this is why when you do options trading and you look for strong options trading strategies, it is very difficult to be a directional trader because the market most of the year is directional, meaning it breaks up and down, up and down from ranges. But now 80% of the year to 90% of the year, trading is in a range. And the people who can see their, those ranges sell income here and sell income here, and they don't care if the market goes up, down, or sideways. They make money if the market goes up, sideways, and down. They make money three ways when they sell options. Okay? So my best strategies, trading strategies for beginners in options, is to sell income, and more precisely, the credit spread or the vertical spread. You know, it is the best option trading strategies for options trading strategies to consider because you have a 70 to 95% chance of success for new guys, right? And that is extremely important because that improves the 50-50. When I buy stocks on Amazon here, granted I made money, I have only a 50-50% chance of success. But look here, I'm going to show you a very powerful, look at those uh, put credit spread here. Now look at those put credit spread. The current price is at 26.72. I went way below my support on the triangle or the day trading zones full pro tool. And I create what I call a margin of safety or a buffer of safety when I do credit spread or vertical spreads as one of the best option strategies to consider out there, not only for beginners, but for intermediate and advanced traders, right? Because look, so this thing uh, yesterday when the market went down a lot at 120, it's 30 cents. Two days ago, I sold uh, more. I had a $2, it's 30 cents. $1.65, it's 30. So those are predictable source of income, guys. You know, I make money right now at the 2,500 puts. Look, if I look at the options chain, what is the delta of the 2,500 puts? And you are going to see the probability of success. So hold on, those are eight days out. So we go eight days out and we want to see those as the best options trading strategies for beginners because look now, 
I go in my charts and I look, okay, where's the 1500 eight days out? And what's the type of delta we're talking about? And look what happened. Right? Uh, sorry, this is Amazon. Let me put the ES option chain. You go through the option chain eight days out. Look for the 1500. 2500 sorry and here it is that's my short strike look at my short strike my short strike has a three delta which means i have a the opposite a 97 percent chance of success so do you want to make money trading directionals making 50 percent chance of success or do you want to sell income and having a chance of making 97% chance of success? Now I'll finish on this. It's always about looking charts and look here. The charts of the market right now is a big triangle in the market. So look, I took the stand saying that when we go towards the bottom of the channel yesterday, that I'm going to sell here way below, look the support of my channel here is about uh, 2600 let's say okay 2600 2575 and look what i've done the distance between the support of that triangle to the 2500 is a buffer of safety which pushes you know my rate of success to 97 percent chance of success so to recap the best options trading that you can do is selling income Especially and more specifically for retail trader, when you know that 90% of the day trader lose money, it is very hard to make consistent money with directional day trading strategies. Options trading strategies that are best for beginners to stay away from the current price as I showed you, create the buffer of safety with credit spread and vertical spread. This will be your best chance to make consistent amounts of money as a beginner trader. Not only that, but the vertical spreads and the credit spread, you know, you know, done the right way, right, will also allow you to have high probability of success, consistent amount of uh, weekly, monthly, and also refine your trading skills. Okay, of course, you will have to apply the right size. Another thing that is important is to apply the back ratios. But when it comes to options trading, nothing beats for beginners trading strategies the credit spread, the vertical spread, and selling income. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please, as always, subscribe to our channel. After you subscribe, hit the bell so that you get the email notifications for every new video coming out. Give us a like, comment on your best option strategies to support those videos if it's helpful. Watch similar videos. And most importantly, below these videos, if you have not done so yet, you can click the link below on YouTube on the descriptions and get our 14 days trading challenge. Um, it is absolutely free. That gives you all my pyramid of knowledge for the past 22 years at a very important basic levels uh, that starts choosing the right broker, the charts, the strategies, the size and everything. Take the trading challenge and get into our webinars as well into that trading challenge if you have not done so. You take care. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.